Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to uninstall MySQL completely from your system. If you are trying to uninstall MySQL and if it is getting failed, then do follow my video till end. It is going to completely uninstall MySQL from your system. So let's start the video. So first of all, you have to go to control panel. So just type control panel. And here you can select the option uninstall a program and now here you can see all the programs installed on your machine and here you can see the program related to MySQL. So we have MySQL installer, MySQL server, MySQL shell and MySQL workbench. So we have to uninstall all this product from our machine. So let's uninstall it one by one. So first of all I will uninstall this workbench. So select this and just click on uninstall option. Now it is showing me that are you sure to uninstall MySQL workbench? Yes, I want to uninstall. So I will click on yes option. So now it has started uninstalling my workbench. Okay, it is asking me permission. So let me just click on yes option. MySQL workbench has been uninstalled. Now I'll select MySQL shell uninstall. Yes installation of shell is done I am going to select MySQL server select uninstall click on yes now what is left MySQL installer I will uninstall this also click on uninstall yes so you can see MySQL product I have uninstalled now I will just close this so just uninstalling the product from control panel is not going to completely remove your MySQL so now you have to follow few more steps so what you do you just go to c colon and here you go to your program files and just check it out mysql yes mysql is there so i need to remove this folder also so just select and delete yes delete after deleting mysql folder from program files you have to follow two more steps one you have to go to program data folder and another you have to go to app data folder but these are the hidden folder you have to just go to view menu and just click on hidden items so now you can just go to c colon and just here find out program data okay so after getting program data folder just click on this and here find out mysql folder again click on this and here you can see various folders related to mysql the important one is mysql server just click on this and here we have very important folder known as data which contains all the databases which you have created so if you want to take backup of any database you can just copy and paste it to some other location so i just want backup of this database so before deleting just take backup of database if you need so i'm just pasting it into my some other drive so i have just copied my few of the databases and now what i'll do i'll delete this folder of program data so in my program data my sql folder i'm going to delete okay now after deleting folder from program data we have to go to users folder so again i will be going to c colon users and then my username is admin and here i will be going to app data folder and then here i will be going to roaming folder and here there is mysql folder so just delete this folder from roaming folder so okay so my all folder related to mysql has been deleted now i'll just show you whether mysql is existing or not so you can see here i'm typing mysql it is not showing me so this is what the steps you have to follow if you want to remove it i hope this video is going to help you so if you want to install mysql i have given link in description box as well as you can click on info button to install mysql on your system so this pretty much concludes my video if this video has really helped you please don't forget to hit on like button 
Also, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel to help me and my channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever I post video like this. Thank you, friends, for watching my video till end. See you in my next video. Till that, bye bye and take care.